Thank you very much, guys, for coming. I'm glad you guys made it on time so you didn't miss the class. I wrote this class just recently. It's a new class. And the reason I wrote it is because there's so many people out there not succeeding. And I wanted to teach you a secret that I use to succeed. I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. I started as a carpet cleaner. And then I built up Magic Wand Company and sold my carpet cleaning company. I am a master textile cleaner, instructor uh, for the IICRC. And so I've been kind of been there, done that. Close this. Okay. So here's just a story about me from going from nothing to something. I got out of college in, in the early 1990, when it was recession time. I don't know if you guys remember that, there were no jobs. And Didi and I both graduated, so we needed a place where we could both get a job. So we moved to Chicago, because there's lots of jobs there. We didn't end up getting the best jobs, but we did get jobs. We worked for seven months, saving money. And we lived in a studio apartment with a roommate. And I worked out of my car, which is a Chevy Cavalier. And I had a little portable that broke down and I carried it in there. So that's kind of how it began. And when I started cleaning carpets, way back when, I really was struggling as a carpet cleaner. And even now, when I look back at some of the invoices I have, they have minimum $39 written on them. And that just drives me crazy because now knowing what I know now, I realize how s stupid I really was. <laughs> but it took me a long time to figure it out. I kind of wrote my story down on just a piece of paper at night and I wanted to just tell you that and how it transformed into this class. So what happened was after I lost making money, you know, you can't really live on $39, right? I turned to doing commercial work. At commercial work, I was getting 10 cents a square foot, which now seems foolish too. But at 10 cents a square foot, I actually did make a profit because I was working my, myself at that point. But I still wasn't making enough money. Didi and I both worked at night. She worked at a bank for insurance. And stupid enough, I started a janitorial company. And that made me busy, but it didn't really give me any more money. So now I had two businesses making no money. Then I started a maid service thinking, OK, well, now I can get into this business and make more money. That was the biggest mistake of my life. I had more work than you can imagine. And you got to realize, I have a degree in marketing from college, right? And my friends are living it up. They're buying houses at this point. They have nice cars. And they're starting to have children. <laughs> and I'm still struggling. So anyway, my, actually, my maid service grew the fastest. And I had little time to concentrate on anything. So I was always on the fly or putting out fires. While all these events were happening, my wife and I decided it was time to have kids. <laughs> she left her job to come help me with the growing maid service while I ran the other two. Money became even tighter. We didn't have health insurance for our daughter when she was born. It was 8000 bucks just for her, plus, it's, plus my wife's stay at the hospital. But you know what? I credit all the motivation, all the things I learned from that first child, because it really set my priorities straight and taught me that I had to succeed. I had to figure out how to succeed. I had no choice. I was too deep into this. So we started doing our numbers, and we saw that all this volume that we had 11 maids at one time. All this volume that was coming in was coming in 